Hi, hi. Hi, Francis. Thank you. Those joining early, waiting for my guests to join the conversation. Hi, Francis. Francis, you are the one that um, you were the Mr. Universe. Is, is that you? Or you contested? Because I I know that I'm... Um... Hi, Miss Hewness. Amazing pastor. And a wonderful mommy G.O. <laughs> Thank you for joining, waiting for my guests to join us today we're discussing important of volunteering hi 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 felix thank you Thank you for joining, waiting for my guests to join the Hoping that she's gonna join us soon. Hi Chile. Happy weekend, everyone. I hope that um, you had um, an amazing week so far. And I hope that the week uh, has been kind to you all. Thank you for joining. Hi, Felix. Thank you for joining still waiting for my guests to join us today the topic of the conversation is importance of volunteering so i hope she's able to join us soon and then we can get right into the topic toby if you're here i sent you an invitation for you to join the show today. How you thank you for joining. Thank you, everyone. Trying to reach her. So just one minute past two. So I'm gonna give it um five more minutes to see. She's going to join us. Good evening, Hayo. How was your week? <laughs> and the hustling and bustling of Lagos. How, how are you coping with that? The last boost on the road and everything. And your amazing job as um, a big boy. <laughs> Like I like to call it not bad. Oh, okay. Okay. Great. Great. That's amazing. I'm waiting for Toby to to come live, but I don't think I don't know. Umba is not going. Yes, I know you don't have a choice. Let me tell you a funny story. Um I on my um Facebook. So this young lady said that um <laughs> I had posted something and then she, she said, Oh, Anchesta, you understand how life it is, you know, because of her so she's always um fetching water. And she described the distance, right? The proximity of the place she you know goes to fetch the water to her home. 
So I said, okay, that's, that's, um, that I understand a plight. And I told her, I said, I have an assignment for you. You said I don't understand what you're going through, right? So I have started to go to the place that I grew up. You know, I, I, at first I told her, I said, listen, I, <laughs> when I was young, I fetched a lot of water. So I have started to go to Alimosho, where I grew up. I have started to go to Ikotun. She lives um, around Ayobo, I think. And I said, when you get to Ikotun bus stop, ask of Dari Streets. <laughs> so when she goes to the Dari Street now, I told her, walk from that Dari Street to Fatima Street. That, there's a place in Ikotun called Fatima Street. It's one of the most popular streets in Ikotun. Ayo, you must know where I'm talking about. He said, ah, so I did send that data so that, you know, we can talk real time. Ah, auntie, I'm tired. I said, you're tired. You don't know yet. So let me show you the distance of the place I used to fetch water. <laughs> you're, you, you are fetching water beside the house. You, you are complaining. Yes, that is just where they sprint. So then she now, so I told her, I said, walk from Fatima Street to Obabi Street where the particular place where I grew up on Obabi Street. So she did the walk. You know, she, she did the walk. By the time she got to Obabi Street, she was complaining, ah, and just that, do you mean that you used to fetch carry your bucket on your head from, you know, this place? I said, yes, I used to. I used to do that. <laughs> so as I was saying, from that is from Obabi East Street now. And I told her, I said, go to Oladun Joye Street. <laughs> the end of Oladun Joye Street, I used to carry pail on my head. Carry pail on my head to fetch water. So she did that, you know, and by the time she, she got back home in the evening, she was, that, that's a distance. Yes, I, I used to carry pail on my head. I'm not even going to, Toby, good to have you, my dear. Let me my quickly friend, finish. Okay. Let me quickly me? finish. Um, yes, I can hear you. I was telling the uh, audience a story. I can hear you. Hello. I can hear you, Toby. Hello. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Maybe you need to log out and log back in. Okay, so my people, as I was saying now, hi y'all. By the time she got to Aladdin Joye Street, she said, I just, ah, I am tired. I said, you are tired. The only bag you carry, you. me, I had a carry keg. I had a carry pail for head from Obadi Street, when you call to, <laughs> to, to Fatima, end of Fatima Street, or Dari Street. My dear, in fact, eh, when you sent me a picture, I was shocked. It's, I mean, we need to let people know that we've been through some of those things. We don't, we don't perspire to pass, aspire to perspire. We've all paid our dues. You know, just because you see people's chapter, whatever, don't assume that life has been rosy for them. People go through a lot and are still going through a lot. And I'm saying this to all the young people live right now who are at home because of the Astro Strike, please do all you can, you know, make the best of it and appreciate whatever your parents can give you, please. I mean, this young sister was complaining, ah, sister, I cannot fetch water. Ah, sister, I'm a big girl. Why would my mommy be telling me to go and fetch water? I say, you are still living with them. You are not working. Shingban, you don't have. <laughs> free shelter, free food. <laughs> and you don't want to fetch water. What do you not want to do? Okay, Toby is here. Thank you for listening to my past fire to fetch water story. <laughs> Hi, Toby. Can you hear me now? Yes, loud and clear. Good evening, Ma. My darling, how are you? I see that um, you already sent me. Um, I can't even listen because we are live right now. And my small madams, who are the owner of my phone, they've taken the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I only saw it from my WhatsApp web. How are you feeling? I'm fine, thank you. How are you, Ma? Let me I just get good. my car, because I can't hear Hello. you. Hello. Hello. So I'm sure. <sighs> yeah. Hello. 
I'm so excited. Am I the only one this excited? I can't. Okay, the last time we did this was the first I time I was like this. I can see you guys. Thank you for joining. Please make sure to share. We're about to have a nice time. Absolutely. Um, Where are the girl up Africa queen? <laughs> you guys should be here right now. Showing yeah. your showing her love. <laughs> Toby, it's still I can still see it on your face that you're still trying to you know you're still recuperating. It's obvious. Yes. Yeah. No, 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 no. Maybe because I'm aware that you know you're not you're strong. So yeah, but then you yes. look good. Beautiful shirt you have on. Well Thank done. You. Thank you for coming. I know that you should be resting. You know, only not selfish. No, that that it was another person. Say, go and rest. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. Go and rest. Yes. So, thank you so much for honoring me and being here today. How was your week, Toby? Ah, uh, my week was. I think I've had one of the worst weeks of 2022. Um, I don't want to say it was almost like a near-death experience, but thanks to people like you that kept on checking. So yeah, I'm I'm fine. I'm better now, and that's why I'm even more than excited. Because you're like, are you sure we can? I'm like, what? I'm going to feel alive when I do this with you. I mean, if it was any other person, maybe I would have been like, mm -hmm. maybe that time. But yeah, okay. so that's about Sophia, Sophia, stay on this session. I can see you, Brenda, Sophia. I can see you guys. Stay on this I'm, session. I'm happy that um, you were able to to make it. And that, um, you know, we thank God for grace. We thank God for good health. Because I was quite worried when you told me. And then I prayed for you. I said, God, just, I know you've got her. So just, just perfect your work. So amazing. Yeah. So let's get, for those who don't know Toby, Toby is a social influence strategist. If you need, so I mean, a trip down a page would show you what she's all about. I met Toby, a quick story, I met Toby a few years ago. I have never seen a young girl who is so determined in meeting somebody like her. <laughs> you know, and she met me during one of my dark moments, but that's not something I want to go into. And I think one of the reasons why I connect with Toby, and I'm saying this for those who are also here who are volunteers, is the fact that she was not about the money. She was not about the incentive. She did my makeup for free on my birthday. People charge ah. a lot for that. And she, you know, followed me through. We went to the venue. It was a patch patch a photo shoot session. I don't even think people do that anymore. You know, I don't even know how we actually got the grace to use that place for free that day. <laughs> because I know people, they collect money yeah. from people. Now, from what I heard, it's, a, it's expensive to use that place now for any photo shoot. So, we were one of, I'm not going to say the name before Lagos State Government to come and charge me. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Right, yeah. So, yeah. So, Toby, you know, she, she's, she's amazing. She's the founder of Girl Up Africa. And that's another thing that, you know, she's very passionate about volunteering. Girl Up Africa is one of the biggest volunteering platforms in Africa. No cap. Yeah. I say that with my full chest. She's put in the work, she's paid her deals. She's worked with and for people, amazing personalities in the industry. She's learned, she's unlearned, and now she's using everything she's learned over the years to raise young women, right? So okay. I said it today that I'm not going to read your profile from a professional standpoint, but from the humanity standpoint, which for me yeah. is good. Yeah, I, love yeah. I love it. That's the way to go. I need to take that from the human standpoint, not the professional standpoint. Take note of no. what's in my book. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and I must tell you, you know, I told you, I said on my birthday this year, since that time you, you, have, you did my makeup, me, I have no out time. Me, I no get time. I do like work. I like money. So, my birthday this year, I was so comfortable. When the lady started applying the makeup, I told her, I said, listen, girl, the last person I did this, <laughs> my mentee, I know they do have. You see, I told I said, you see, this one where I bring come your studio. Now force, I force myself. Do I don't I don't I don't care. 
Me is not uh, makeup. What was it mean? Don't buy it. Don't get it red. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Chelsea is also an amazing, amazing makeup artist. That's what I'm trying to say. She's very good with makeup, and it's not a uh, barely makeup or good makeup that you look good. In fact, those pictures from that era. If you look at those pictures and now, the other day I was looking at and I said, I feel, yeah, she did a good job. You know, and then the amazing photographer also, you know, you, you guys gave me free package. Oh, guys, I didn't pay. I didn't pay. <laughs> and this was out of a volunteering service. This was purely yeah. from a place of, oh, I respect you. I love you. I want you to look beautiful on your birthday. I don't care what you're going through. Mama, we're going to do this. You need new pictures out there. I don't want people to see your statue. I don't want those old pictures. Post something new. And that picture, I use them. I overuse them. To the point that people say, hey, stop. Hey, stop. Please. We post new picture. I think when I... So now that I'm started, I started posting pictures, the same people are saying, ah, hey, stop. it's okay now. Everyday picture, I say, you see. How do we please human beings? When I know they post picture, I say, I know they post picture. Now nah, they post mm -hmm. picture back to back, now nah, nah, they complain. Anyway, uh, I just wanted to give you guys, you know, an intro to know that this is going to be a int very interactive session with Toby. This is an unusual interview, so don't expect any of you both back, 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 back. We are going to get... <laughs> this is a mentor and met mentee session. So please avail us the next few minutes or one hour and, um, you know, and listen. So, Toby, let's get right into it for those who joined. You yes, know, sir. did your childhood in any way, you know, prepare you for what you do right now? Yes, yeah. So, um, this question, when, when I read it, when you sent it to me and I read it, I just, it just made me remember my first ever interview, my first ever global national interview, and that was with you on mm -hmm. Gadia Woman. And mm -hmm. I shared a tear. Mm -hmm. that, you know when you're, you're but there's no tears coming out because I just felt like wow, wow, this was this almost the same question you asked me, like, okay, how how did you not start with your childhood? And so yeah, it actually it actually did hundred percent. I it, it's already felt like a broken record for those that have heard me over and over again. Uh, mm -hmm. my parents did and are still doing a great job. I mean mm -hmm. that's why Parenting, parenting is so important, especially for, sometimes I see what you do for your kids and how you put them out there, even though you don't put them in them, but the kind of things you do to them, because from your post, I'm like, okay, these are some parenting tips that people can learn from, not like to come out and say, oh, I'm a parenting coach or anything, but just by the way you do certain things. So I feel like my parents, they, they necessarily did not also maybe go through parenting coaching or anything, but... Mm -hmm. Because they were exposed, and exposure is relative. I'm not talking about mm -hmm. exposure because they're well traveled or anything. Because okay. they understood the impact of selfless service uh, in the human life, and they were never looking at it that oh, maybe in the future I was going to be gaining some kind of uh, popularity, money, or anything from just building my brand through selfless service. They didn't think okay. of that. They mm -hmm. thought of it as we want children that are going to have a heart of gold, a heart to help. Mm -hmm. a, a, a heart to serve and my mm -hmm. father would always say service is leadership that's what he would always tell you so that's stuck in me 100% uh, in my mm -hmm. interview with you on the Guardian I, I mentioned mm -hmm. about how uh, they do it now I think they call it summer classes skill acquisition and everything but my mother would always take us to the artisans that year I mean you just said I did your makeup you know all those little things here and there go and learn or you go and help and see this in her shop and at that time, I would not lie. It was, ah, no. Every other person is having fun. They're going for a holiday in their cousin's house or this and that. I'm not saying we did not have those kind of fun, but it was almost 80% of volunteering. We didn't call it volunteering either at that time. Volunteering. And like I also said, um, most people always said it was over Sabi. Oh, my mommy just likes to push her, push her children forward. Your children are going to become over Sabi in the future. They're going to be extremely forward. They're going to be this and that. But these are children that will always now see a need and they don't need anybody to tell them, okay, you are the leader, go and do it. You just see a need and there's just something that's propelled in you that let me get this thing done. Mm -hmm. And that was how they were able to train us. So even beyond just the, 
uh, going for events, helping out in church, even for friends. So mm -hmm. you are, you can, and and that's the thing about starting it as a young person. You it builds your discerning spirit. You can mm -hmm. easily tell that person is not okay. I need to help this person or. This is this person. So it's not even about the event alone. It's not about holistically your life, your personal life, your relationship with your friends, not mm -hmm. even a romantic relationship, like your platonic relationship with your friends, your relationship mm -hmm. with your mates, you know, little mm -hmm. things here and there like that. If you mm -hmm. build yourself in, uh, in the way of service from a, as, from a young age, that, that really helps you. So yeah, 100%, my my childhood really, really helped me. Big, big shout out to Mr. and Mrs. Agassi for doing uh, this amazing work. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. Fact. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I, let me quickly chip in that, you know, parenting has a huge role to play in how a child turns out in the future. And I think I'm coming to that realization now every day as my kids are growing older. And one thing I'm very mindful of is to give them good memories, good childhood memories. I want to make sure, sure that because there are things that I reflect on now. And I'm yeah. like, that auntie that talked to me anyhow that year. I don't want that. Right? I want them to remember things like my mom stood up for me. Oh, yeah. my mom had, you know, taught me good value. So well done to your parents for the amazing work they did. Uh, we appreciate them. And then, so would you say that this value that you got from your parents and the one that you thought yourself inspired you to start Girl of Africa? Uh, yes, so it did partially and also the fact that I think I saw two of my classmates from Uniben here, so it did partially and also the fact that uh, no shade intended, I said my class, two of my classmates are here, but so when I got to, I studied at uni then, I studied law in uni then, and when I got to school, because of my upbringing again, and the kinds of things I was already doing as a volunteer coming from Lagos to Benin, I found most of my classmates, especially the female, even the male, very shallow, because I'm having conversations about, oh, how can we join the clubs like JCI, I said, you know, church, or even in the faculty, how we can do this, do that. It was more of, oh, this is why they carry me the go kada What did they happen? You know, all those very shallow conversations. And uh, like I said, my classmates are here. They can, you guys should type in the comment section or don't hide yourself. So it's not, so I, I found that to be a problem, first things first. And the opportunities I was getting because I was a volunteer, I was looking at it like, okay, so I'm, I'm always, always at that time, if there was any major event at the auditorium or anything, people would always say, oh, there's one girl in law. Her name is Toby. She will help you for this event. She's always everywhere. And you know, and also, people also saw it as, oh, over Sabidi, so you can't come, come do your own again. But there were so many opportunities I got from there, which connections, uh, connections that will bring money, not just, I'm not even saying connection, because I know a lot of people like, uh, with the connection, they give money. Yes, it actually does. And then, I realized that, okay, if all these young people, especially ladies like me, venture into this thing I'm doing, and they have as much energy, even more, and they get inspired to do this thing, then, I mean, we're going to have, like, so many amazing ladies. And for people in my tribe, I always tell them, I get tired of one, uh, one success factor in a circle. I, I don't like it. I usually like, like, because I brag a lot about my friends, I brag a lot about people in my space, so... I want it to be that, oh, everybody's collectively winning. So I'm saying, oh, my, my friend is like the this of the Fortune 500 company. My friend just got $250,000 scholarship. You know, those kind of things. So, but you know, mm -hmm. yeah, like that. So I saw that it was a challenge, specifically, like I said, because I studied in Benin City. So I was like, mm -hmm. okay, it was a platform where instead of us working in silos, because we, we had, I, I was not necessarily the only person but we had like a few other ladies here and there. And because of the knowledge I already had about volunteering, and then I had to go and do a research. Okay, how do you build a network? I was part of a network in, uh, in the UK at the time. I was volunteering with them online. So I already had an idea about um, building a network of volunteers. So mm -hmm. I was like, okay, no, what? Well, this is something that I can do. So I started mm -hmm. it. At that time, I had like five, six uh, ladies that were a part of this. And... 
we're volunteering from from event to event, from church church programs, uh, faculty programs, all those faculty events and everything. And you know, because it was such a success, and because of the way we were able to carry ourselves, a lot of people saw the need to. Oh, okay, I want to join what these people are doing, and because of the level of excellence we also put into it. So it's not just that oh, we just started and then. Uh -uh. Because of the level of excellence we put into it, people were willing to say, you know what, we want to join uh, what you're doing. And they saw that, okay, it benefited us as well because there were a lot of recognitions, there were a lot of mentions, you know, and there was a lot of access that it gave. And people wanted access and they knew they could not get it either through uh, being friends, just regular friends with people or through their vaginas for the ladies. They needed that access to actually come because uh, they had value to offer. So that's why uh, they were able to join. So yes, absolutely. I, I saw the need. My, my background did. And then I also saw a need because of uh, where, I want to, where I went to study. If I had studied maybe in Lagos, maybe it would, it would have been different. But that's why God, God just takes us to different places part time. And we need to understand what exactly am I called to do here. And I would have told somebody maybe I was not even sent to university to study law per se. Even if it's what it might just have been because destinies are tied to that thing I was supposed to start. And if I did not start at that time, maybe so many people would not have connected to what they're doing today. Some of them would have started off as volunteers, but now they're venturing into different things. And, and like I always say, hmm. stay focused on what and every other thing will be added onto you. Even the Bible says it, be first, and every other thing will be added. I started focused on volunteering. Every other thing I'm doing today, we're plugging that were added because I was focused on one thing. So, Mama, before I... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That's a beautiful story. And, you know, um, one thing that I tell people is, um, I think I was having a conversation with someone yesterday who is um, a volunteer co coordinator of a big organization We're on Zoom. And I said, my passion, because I also want to volunteer for his organization. I tell people I still volunteer. I love community service. And when he said, wow. why do you want to volunteer? I said, my passion for humanity. You know, then he told me, you know, what he's trying to do, his vision. And I said, listen. So, but then he went into the vision and what inspired him to start. So in the middle of the conversation, he goes, oh, I think I'm talking to him. I said, no, this is what I love. I love a good story. Storytelling. Yeah. If we cannot, you know, storytelling is, I mean, we just had a session about the um, importance of um, media visibility. Storytelling yes, is a good approach. Let let's, your story be relatable. So thank you so much for sharing that. So let me ask you, in a nutshell, what does volunteering mean to you, Toby? So volunteering is giving of yourself, your resources, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. network, mm -hmm. for, and giving value mm -hmm. in recognition of a need without mm -hmm. expecting anything in return. Mm -hmm. Giving of yourself. Help, giving of the value you have to offer, giving of your network, giving of kinds of your resources in recognition of your need without expecting anything in return. Mm, amazing. Thank you so much. That's, that's powerful. And, you know, I must say, um, people don't really know the meaning of volunteering. And I want to put this to you that I think you should host um, maybe a course or a session on volunteering. Um, yeah, the other day, volunteers yeah. make that in October all about volunteering. Wow, oh, that's good. I, I would love to also join that because you know, the other day we had the conversation and I put out the, the tweet and the post yeah. for a call for volunteers. And the first thing, like, a couple of them were asking me when I chatted them up is, So, what's in it for me? <laughs> and I told them, I said, Girl, girl, I volunteer a lot. I've been volunteering Wait, for, no, for no, five no, years. I read that post. It actually said volunteer. And somebody still said, what? Yes. She said the first thing that she came with was that incentive. So I told her, I said, listen, you can miss out on valuable, you know, network. You can yeah. miss out on a lot of opportunities because of what you just did. Exactly. What people don't know about volunteering is this. Volunteering opens doors for you. Imagine volunteering for a Fortune 500 person <laughs> and you're just doing it for free and then you do that for one year. Do you really think that person is going to forget you? No. No, you are in their face. You are always saying, how can I help? How can... And then you, you, 
And I, and I told her, I just said, so are we going to work? I said, no, we're not working. You're going to give me a problem. <laughs> she said, ma'am, okay, okay. I, I would say, no, 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 girl. No, I don't want a problem. I know people yeah. who want a problem. In the middle of it, you say they are using you. No. Mm -hmm. It is either you are committed. If the incentive is going to come, let it be from the person on the count of yeah. humanity. I think everybody has, you know, passion for humanity in some way. So if somebody is volunteering for you, something in your head will take and say, support this person. At some point, yeah. you know, no matter what the support is. So thank you so much for sharing. And I hope that people are going to join this um, volunteer mixer that you have in October. I am going to join. And, you know, it has to be blown up because a lot of people, some, some people have been home now with, for us to strike. I was asking one person on Facebook, I said, you always post it, post it, post it, post it. Wait, this has to strike. What have you done? <laughs> he said, I, I said have, have you thought about volunteering? There are so many NGOs looking for people to support them. Back to school, yeah. summer programs. Volunteer. You might, you might click and plug into your future job just by volunteering as a student. I said, but you guys yeah. don't think that when you want to come on Facebook and go on Twitter and throw people, you have small data. I said, you are wasting your time. You can blame the government now. Some people are going, by the time they call up this strike, and a lot of people won't learn anything, they are, they're going to feel bad. Because believe me, some people are going back to school when they call up the strike, Toby, and they would have been made. Because they used their time volunteering for people who added value to them. So thank you so much for sharing that. And like I said, we need to, we need to do more. So tell me, how has volunteering impacted your life? Positively, share. Ah, ah, we we'll finished today. <laughs> share a few okay, points so, because I know some of your girls are here, so they can hear. I like them in okay, points. So, real quick, uh, volunteering has helped me build a formidable network. Volunteering has given me money. It's not all about money, but volunteering has given me money that I did not even expect I was going to get. Volunteering, and, and I'm going to break this down how it has happened for me. Uh, mm -hmm. volunteering has also helped expose my mind. Like when she was introducing me, she said, I've done a lot of learning and unlearning. In the course of volunteering, there's a lot of unlearning you have to expose yourself to and mm -hmm. relearning mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and then also, it has given me the recognition that I have today. I mean, many of you would not have known me if it wasn't Busy Toby, the volunteer that you know. Now, what am I saying? I'm saying this because beyond volunteering for an organization, sometimes you seek to volunteer for an individual. Now, when I met you, it wasn't even the women of Ruby's factor for you. It was a you thing. Mm -hmm. There was something. And like I said, it was like you saw the fire you had when you were younger. And, mm -hmm. and you know, when as a young person, you also see yourself like, oh, this person is doing the amazing things that I want to do when I, when I get to that stage and all, you want to align yourself with that person, but because I understand that value attracts value. So if you're giving value, people will not be attracted to you. So look for what the person needs at that time. So, and there are a lot of you, there are people in your space, people you know that you should be volunteering for at this time, but over familiarity, you don't know how to honor people, has made you not volunteer for them. You don't see them finish now. Maybe this person is my friend, or I just see this person as regular egg bone. I don't, mm -hmm. why should I want to volunteer for her? And then when we're saying volunteering, you know, there are basic things. You can just say, okay, two hours of your time per day, or let me, let me use a week. Six hours of your time in a week, you use it to do graphics for this person, or you use it to promote this person's work. You use it to, so I'm not even saying the physical volunteering now, where you people think that's talking about i'm just saying giving of yourself giving value helping to even promote somebody's work is volunteering in this age and time because i mean this is almost everything you're doing so so yeah um volunteering has really helped me it's exposed my mind then in meeting people that there were places there are people that I would never in my life have had access to at the level i was regardless of who my mother and father were i wouldn't have had access to them but because I had the opportunity to volunteer now, it's one thing for you to have the opportunity as a volunteer. It's another thing for you to be able to build yourself enough that they would even be attracted enough to say, hey, you, come, are you a volunteer? I want to get to know you. Uh, one thing particularly is your appearance. 
how how you look, how how you appear in certain places and to certain people. Now I see that volunteers are very like adaptical about the attitude. When they call you to volunteer, it's the worst shoe you want to wear. It's the jean that has died, that is the blue has faded that you want to wear to go and volunteer. That's physical volunteering now, or you're supposed to be in a Zoom session, you're the one that turned off your your uh, your video, nobody's seeing you. You know, those very, very little things that will make you stand out from the mob, especially as a volunteer, because everybody today will tell you, oh, I'm a volunteer, I volunteer now, and I volunteer for this, I volunteer for that. A lot of figureheads, they don't actually do the work. So you need to make yourself stand out, regardless of whoever is in that space saying that they're volunteering. How do you do it? Your manner of approach. Do you honor people? How do you dress? How do you relate with people? Uh, do you know your onions? Can people leave you to say, handle this thing for me? Uh, uh, somebody was telling me that she couldn't believe that in the space of less than two years of knowing Dr. Linus, I've been able to represent him nationally and internationally, uh, physically, that's what I'm talking about. Even online, I've been able to be his EA uh, for this long. I've been able to do some things for him. And I said, um, I didn't just get there because, oh, I, I wanted to get there. And for you as well, I mean, you will say, oh, Toby, go and represent me in this event. Oh, go and get this award for me. Go and do this for me. If I was somebody that would carry my hair looking like a goat, uh, dressing anyhow, would you say, okay, I have one volunteer, one mentee? That like I said, no, that will not happen. So that speaks to you as well. And and I, 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 I think that a lot of people have this mentality of, uh, volunteering must be, I, I just want to reiterate that volunteering must be with an organization. No, you can volunteer with an individual. And um, specifically, let me just put this out there. There's something called an out-of-pocket expense. Mm. The first thing that you're volunteering for is aware. They're mm -hmm. human. You don't have to, because volunteers put, a lot of people that claim they volunteer, not volunteers themselves, a lot of people that claim they volunteer always want to, oh, eh, what of the money are we using? A lot of people that understand the act and act of volunteering, you don't need right. to tell them. You know that there's an out of pocket, pocket expense you use for so so and so. They will give it back to you sometimes even more. That has happened to me so many times and in so many ways. So um, I've diverted from the question, but I'm just trying to touch here and there. So mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. mean. Uh, but mm -hmm. oh, I see that somebody asked a question. I think it's, it's up already about the volunteers mixer. It's a physical event. It's going to be happening in Lagos and Abuja. I'm going to share uh, more details before we finish because of time, and then we have some other people we want to invite on here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you so much for um, for sharing that. And I, I must say, um, one of my own biggest put off when I meet with new volunteers is the moment you start making it about money. Or the moment I have a sense that you want to use me. <laughs> Listen. And I want to tell young people here. Toby said something. You cannot buy experience in the market. Know that today. Mm. So when you are meeting somebody yeah. who has volunteered and is still volunteering, when, you are, when you're meeting somebody who has sold and paid their deals, in quote, they are watching your character. They are watching yeah. your reception. They are watching you. How do you relate to them? Are you available when you're available on the count of me if I be boss? Are you available because you really want to serve? Are you available because there is something you want to gain from them? And I must tell you, and I'm saying this live, this, that was one of the things that I noticed about you, that you, you, it was just pure community service. You just wanted to serve. You just, mama, what can I do? Mama, how can I help? And, it's, and that's it, right? And that is why, you know, I would always tell people that when they mentioned volunteers. Toby is the first name that comes to my, hand, my mind. Why? Because she has been able to create top of mind awareness. It's a marketing strategy. You know, for me and many others, who she has aligned with, Toby would hide you without collecting a dime. <clears throat> Toby would mention your name. And I know many people would feel, oh, I own this too much. I she's, no, she's not doing it for anything. She has yeah. never had to for anything. And I'm saying this live because people say, Star, what do you they give this to big yourself? I said, no. <laughs> <laughs> that, is what, that is who she is. She, she, she's seven, right? So I, I, I'm, I'm having that, you know, one of the, you know, the importance of volunteering is to also know the people you are in the same space with. Yeah. Understand that these are not people who are just starting. These are people who are going to have value to you. So 
what value are you bringing to the table? Value. Right? What value? Because it's the value. You, you, you said something now, and I think I, how volunteering for Mr. Linus has opened doors for you, right? And now it has yes. turned to a professional setting because now you actually work with Gotney as an organization, right? It amplified your life. Why? Because you stayed true to your goal. You didn't go in, you didn't dive in into the I'm on, I'm on you, I'm very, very much you now go pay me for years. See us in the organization big now. What's in the apple year now? Go and tell me say no game money. Right? And don't judge people by their public persona. I'm saying this to be these are some of the things you need to address. These people, these young people, they will see you posting five frame picture. The next thing is eh, but uh maybe you are posting five picture, you should be able to keep don't, don't, don't come with that energy. Don't come with that energy. There are too many people who are ready to do the same thing you are saying you are applying for. And they would even do it better. So every time you get the opportunity with somebody who is out there, please follow Toby's example. Use it wisely. Don't abuse connections. Don't do it. So Toby, thank you. It's your session. But, you know, like I told people, this is going to be interactive because this one is not terrible. <laughs> So um, I need you to highlight, you know, some, I know this wasn't part of the question. Yeah. How has volunteering, you know, helped your journey as a social entrepreneur? Because aside from you being a volunteer, you are also an entrepreneur, social entrepreneur. So how has that you know, energy of service to humanity helped you? Um, first thing, it has helped me connect more to to humans, to people, and what people are actually going through. I remember when you used to send us to Makoko and different communities, even when you were not here. And one thing that, that but those experiences would always teach me is, yes, you're doing well. Yes, God has made you who you are. But there are people that will still not feel good about themselves or feel good about anything in life, okay. you don't come to them. Mm. You don't come to them. To them. And, you know, those, those lack of core experiences always, it was always this thing of joy in my heart. I, I still don't know how to explain it. I wish I can express exactly how, because okay. sometimes so my Android phone does this thing where it shows you pictures from three years ago, five years yes. ago. I don't know how many people that thing does. Yes. It tell you One three, drive. Three, ahead this month mm -hmm. how many years ago and mm -hmm. those pictures just up and seeing my mama coco i'm seeing all of volunteers and i'm like my goodness this is this is and it just reminds me that there mm -hmm. is a level of connection we need to have with humanity that a mm -hmm. lot of us don't and a lot mm -hmm. of people see selfless service community service uh okay. social impact as oh I go, I wear polo, I volunteer, I take picture, I post on the gram, I've gone to volunteer. But there's a deeper level of connection that you need to have. Some mm. people put you in that position because you need to expose your mind mm. and show you there are endless possibilities if only you mm. can believe in him as a person. Because I don't mm. understand if somebody's living in a, in a house with three or four sticks and they are doing okay. They are fine. Like three or four woody, you're literally holding the house. You know how the Marco Co houses were. That's I'm never talking about now. At that time, how it was, and beyond Marco Co and every other community. So that that actually helped. So there was a a, a lot of mindset shift mm. that helped me to achieve. So you know, there's 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 something you talked about on one live session we had. You talked about humble audacity. I think community service helps you to have humble the audacity because you will be it will humble you you still have your audacity somewhere inside mm -hmm. but it will definitely humble you because you would understand that life is beyond the paparazzi and the whole shenanigans that we're doing on here it's important what we're doing but it's beyond that there's there's a deeper mm -hmm. level of connection just like Shazlin mm -hmm. just said that was, so yes there was there was mind shift uh mm -hmm. for me there was also, like I said, a connection to humanity. So it's not just, oh, I'm helping people. You feel that genuine connection. And then there's this, I don't know how many people, but there's this genuine fulfillment. Like, you know, when, when, you, when uh, a certain figure enters your mm -hmm. bank account, you, 
you will, your taste buds will change. You'll be feeling like anybody's talking to you. You're like, okay, okay. So how much are we talking? Like you feel very comfortable. Now that feeling that you have when that money enters your account, that you know that oh, this one is for me. I can do anything I want. That feeling that you have inside. That's the feeling I usually have when we go and then, especially feedback. That's why I don't joke with feedback. When people now start saying, oh, thank you. You know, you used to give them rice and a lot of things they used to cook. Some of them give them money. And then when we share all the things that you've sent us to share, people will now say, oh, uh, I, I wouldn't have even eaten rice this December. Mm. You know, for some mm. people, you think that it's a lie. Sorry. It's for okay. some people, you think that it's a lie, but it's actually true that people that would have not even had access to eat anything and just a small bag of rice that we give to them so you don't realize that beyond the amazing life that you have the amazing life that you're living mm. there are people that are not standing the gap especially as a volunteer in this social impact world there's a lot that you will not do and let me just state this clearly uh as, as a social impact entrepreneur as, as a social entrepreneur you are you are there to solve a problem i see this age and time that a lot of people are creating more problems than they are solving. The goal of having social enterprises, uh, uh, social impact organizations, non-profits, even uh, the non-profits and all of that, the, the goal is for you to actually also help the government and solve problems, not cause more problems. Let me stop there for now, Abeg. I'm just thinking of a lot of this. I, I know that's feeling. Um... <laughs> I know that feeling and, you know, your mention of Marco Ko, um sort of like took me back to memory lane. Oh, I don't know. Something is wrong with the audio. I can hear you now. I can hear you. Okay. okay. So, um, it took me back to memory lane as well, right? And that community, by the way, my mama Koko remembers me. <laughs> Every time I, you know, speak with her, and I told her, I said, you're doing fine, you're okay. Um, I just want to let you know that there's another part of volunteering, of doing community work that people don't see. And that is the spiritual part mm. of throwing something into the universe. Now, mm. people don't understand, right? When you see people, God collecting people because of the way they've invested into other people without expecting anything in return through volunteering. Best yeah. believe it's God opening the file of their life. And God mm. saying, I saw what you did when you didn't tell anybody. I saw how you served that person without saying a word to anybody. So now I am rewarding you for that. And I'm saying this, people can become millionaires through volunteers. Best believe this today. Because there's this yeah. perception, and I'm saying, because it's life, I'm going to put this on my YouTube channel. People are going to watch for years. Listen, mm -hmm. when you volunteer for people who matter, and they see the level of... Now, did you know how I got onto Catalyst? I don't know if I shared that story with you. I got onto Catalyst through a platform that I'd also volunteered for. So when I brought you in, I was paying it forward. Through Lucy Cano, a few years wow. ago, there was something called Women Mentoring Women Walk in Nigeria. Now, right. a lot of people don't know that. I have, I, listen, I don't joke with pace setters. I can see my sister Dorothy here. I don't joke with women who set the pace. That's why I celebrate women. I don't joke with women who started initiatives because I know people forget folks easily. So yeah. I, was, I was a mentee at our organization, Idea Builders. I'm sure Dorothy is going to know her as well. I was a mentee oh, and I became the mentee of the year at that organization. And after my wow. mentoring, my one year mentoring session, I volunteered for them. I said to her, I said, what can I do to help? Right? And I volunteered. So when I connected with her, and now she, she does stuff for Leap Africa and Changing Narratives Africa. She's a big woman, right? Mm -hmm. And then we had the same way you, you and I are having this conversation. It was supposed to yeah. be, how can I help you, ma'am, conversation. It turned out to be, Esther, listen, wait. Right, while we're talking, let me quickly send you an email. I'm nominating you 
for a membership for Catalyst. I'm like, see, I reached out to you like because... Yeah, I said, I reached out to you because I want to know how I can support your work. And she said, no. As we were talking, you know, I know you're passionate about these things. So I'm sending you the email right now. I'm going to copy this person and that person. Um, you've done so much work. And that was how the Catalyst um, steam came about. I am also sharing this story live because sometimes when you see people's harvest, you don't know their days of sowing seeds. Always ask mm. questions. Oh, you don't know who is mentioning people's names at tables of opportunities. Yes, Some of us ma. have been so consistent that to the point of foolishness that we keep pushing and pushing and people would say, wait till this one they do, say for a while or two months, go sit down. But if we understand the power of consistency, we know what yes. consistency means. We know what it means to be consistent. Listen, when people feel you are foolish, that is when you press harder. Press neck. Hey, yes. Yes. When yes, feel that, yes, pay it forward. Press the neck. Me, I tell people, when people are telling me my own is too much, that is when my, my portable shoulder will go up. Because yes, that is when I want it to be in you. I want to be in your face. Oh, you are, you are tired. I do not even get tired. Because me, if God has placed a, a value on my head, I am not going to subdue myself because of mortals. No, <laughs> I won't do that. You know, I won't do that. So if God has placed a purpose on my life, I am not going to let people who are pained with their life subdue my light, right? So yeah. I am saying this because, you know, this is not just um, a session where I'm interviewing my mentee, uh, an amazing woman. This is also a learning session because a lot yes, of young people don't volunteer genuinely anymore. Don't use yeah. people. Now, so Lucy now connected me to Catalyst 2030 movement. And mm -hmm. then <laughs> I brought in Toby. And now we've had two sessions. Someone was asking the other day, ah, should be there. Other people I say yes. But you say those other people, do they, do they mention my name anywhere? Abby, mm. do they mention my name? I say, how many mm. people I don't feature now don't call me outside? I say, yes, now, hey, Abby, put my name. I say, no, me, I'm a loyal person. I'm loyal to the call. I pay loyalty that's to my. That's one thing you teach people. Yes. No, I don't pay loyalty. Yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm also sharing this because, you know, just so people know that when you see Toby blowing tomorrow now, and you see and her that day, that is, <laughs> don't question people's harvest if you don't know their days of sowing seed. Some of us mm. have done things that people don't even pay attention to. Some of us have sown mm. seeds that sometimes even in distress, but we keep doing it. We keep doing yeah. it. We keep pouring. So Toby, I am also telling you that thank you it was an absolute pleasure to pay it forward. Because when Lucy opened that door for me, I said, listen, girl, I'm going to draw this girl up. Yeah, she, she needs this global platform as well. Because she's been loyal. Even when we had our thing, she's still there. So we, I want to see her at the top. And I see those people that are always scared of helping people. Listen, when God has placed a crown on your head, nobody can remove it. Hey. That thing that they do. That contact you are holding, that might be the limitation to your own blessing. You see, mm. you don't want to help people. And that is why you are stagnant. Yes. Because you don't want to help people and you are stagnant. And you are praying, praying. No, everything will be prayer. I mean, I'm a spiritual woman. I'm a praying woman. But I also know the rule of the universe, the law of attraction. When you pour, mm. when you give, it comes back to you. So, and that is what you are doing. And Toby, you are going to make it. You go blow. Where, where? You never blow. You never see anything. You go blow pieces. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. so, you know, so folks, um, I, you know, whenever I'm talking with Sobe like this, it is never a, we, no, can't, we can't have proper two a day. A proper session, mental and mental session. Yeah, because she, and, and I think because you met me at a point in my life where people would have judged me. You met mm. me at a point where I could not afford food. Where wow. we have to take buses together. Not many people do that. You were not asking yeah. questions. You were just doing. You met me at a point mm -hmm. where I was really down. Really, really down. Of, I was depressed. I didn't love myself anymore. And then you helped me see the light. So maybe you didn't even know that your volunteering, right? That you passed something in me. Those beautiful makeup. The Why you were doing the makeup, I was posting. Mama post like this. Mama post like this. <laughs> And then we now move from there. Don't forget, we went to Itamala. 
Listen, yes. I've been through. I have been through. So don't always keep record of the seed you sow, Toby. Not because you want gratification, not because you want validation. Always keep receipt. Keep it yes. for yourself. Keep it so that as you grow, you look back and you say, "Wow, let me go chop a mala for white house that year," because we yes. left from the tender to white house to eat a mala. Hey. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm I'm so so I'm so proud of you. So I want to I want you to quickly discuss what are some of the activities you have at Girl of Africa right now for those before we bring in some of your volunteers. You know, I'm sure there are a couple of them who you want hey, to join. Right. So there are my friends are here that volunteer with me. Ruth Inspire is here. I can <laughs> see you there. Sophia, Sophia is also here. So Ruth, so, Dan, 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 Dan. Dan. Hey, so. You are coming on, Sophia, as well. Yes, in the next okay. few minutes, we are going to add you all to the session. So, Toby, um, you know, just quickly tell us some of the programs at Girl of Africa. What is the volunteering process like for those who might want to volunteer right now? Okay, so for those that want to volunteer, please send. So, for some reason ahead, let me even put it out there. Anybody that can help me, we've not had access to the page for over a year, and that's really stifling our work. Because people are like, oh, are you people not working? We're working 100%, but... Instagram, we've been trying to log into our page and it's been almost impossible. So if you can help me, please send me a DM. So yeah, uh, there's so many opportunities. There are lots of events, lots of conferences mm -hmm. that are coming up. There's the Lagos month that we're even volunteering for this uh, month coming. There are lots of events that I know that we have on the calendar for Lagos, mm -hmm. Abuja, and for, for some other cities. Mm -hmm. Please uh, send me particularly a DM. You can also send Sophia a DM. So me wonder... You can send her a DM. Um, and then we have the volunteers mixer coming mm -hmm. up. So like it's like volunteer learning and turn up. Uh, mm -hmm. The first one is happening in Lagos where we're working in a partnership with the American Corner mm -hmm. and uh, El France, the Institute of France, France mm -hmm. in Nigeria to uh, make this happen. It's an event where you get to understand volunteering in-depthly. And then mm -hmm. for those people, obviously, I am coming to Ibadan this month for the launch in Lodi. That is me personally. So okay. please make sure you link in my bio to register. That This one is a whole sort of event where you okay. get to tell yourself the truth. So it's okay. an event where we do some resources that will help you tell yourself the truth and identify the genius uh, okay. in you. So, yeah. okay. Okay. But now... Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Um, for your page, you know, I would say, why don't you open a new page? And since you have engagement on your page, always, you know, make your new page a collaborator. Then you can grow the new page while you're waiting. I'm saying this because, you know, you might miss out on certain opportunities um, yeah. because of this interest. Don't let Instagram hinder you from things. You know, okay. you beat them at the game. This week, let me tell you the strategy that I use this week. Facebook, for some reason, people have been reporting my post on facebook kiki is here she, yeah yes. for some reason, they've been flagging me flagging me even on my post as far back as 2015 somebody is just sitting on the page going to report post of 2017 some post about me celebrating women as well and because when there are multiple reports on a post facebook would flag it because that is the boss working it's not really a person right yeah. and i said to myself i said how am i gonna beat this i don't want to lose my account Right? So here is what I did, girl. I became more consistent. Right? And I started posting engaging content. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you got to beat people at their own game. I said, no, Facebook ain't going to frustrate me. So my, they said, let me tell you the restriction. Of, they restricted me from my pages. They restricted me from my groups. They restricted me from posting for three days. They restricted me from, they said they, they put my post lower on the feed. When Facebook tells you that, it means that when people see like a thousand posts, before they see yours, maybe it's number 2,000, right, on the yeah, feed. I so I said to myself, I said, Holy Spirit, because I pray a lot. People say I pray about the most used. I said, no, I pray about everything. Because there is yes. nothing in this world you cannot speak to. <laughs> if, people, if, God, if, God, if God could speak to the Red Sea, <laughs> there is fire in my tongue. I said, no, Facebook, you don't go do this. So I didn't, I, on the third day, 
see how God works. And I want you to use this. On the third day, when my account was released, I came on Facebook, I posted, I said, thank you, at least three days. The other restriction, oh, hala. I was surprised. They post that engagement. I said, whoa, okay. Okay. Okay, God, I see you. I went yeah. about my day only for me to, that evening for one of my, you know, mentees like you and a wonderful Aburo. <laughs> she said, yes, yeah, so the spiritual controls the physical. She, she now sent me, she said, Aunt Esther, you have been nominated as Facebook influencer. Hey, I said, Kubaya. Hey. Uh -huh. <laughs> When God wants to shame the devil, he goes shame him like this. Pop, 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 pop. I say, yes. <laughs> you think, Mark, now help you get, yeah. you know, get fire. <laughs> I say, really? For you? Now, Mark, you get, you know, get fire. Me, we don't tell God on my knees. I say, Baba God. And I did tell God. I said, listen, God. Because my idea was to pull down my page because I was frustrated. I mean, come on. I have pages on me. You, know you know what I do? I would not be able to supervise my page. I would not. I said, God, because I was now posting from um, Ruby Zinc. It was, you know, I had to go through Ruby Zinc and I said, this is stressful. I wow. need to be able to access my page and see the work that has been done there in my groups. Right? So I was going to pull down the, the page that day. My, phone, my Facebook page. I'm like, see, if this thing continues, they flag me. Because the flagging was like four posts per day. They were reporting consistently. I was receiving, you know, when you go on Facebook and I found Facebook has brought up the thing. Your account uh, was, this uh, it went against our community. Can you call, can you call? My dear, that's how they say they nominated me or Facebook influencer. Listen. My post, not just anybody, yo. In the, in the midst of chaos, hmm? yeah. if you are a praying person, I told God, I said, show me a sign that this decision that I want to make, because I know there are destinies attached to me, that this decision yeah. that I want to make to pull down my page, that you need support. But instead of showing me a sign, you see this sky daddy, he just showed me back, back, back. I said, girl, you ain't going nowhere. You are here for a purpose. <laughs> there are people who love the affirmation you post every day. There are people who follow you genuinely because you inspire them to keep going. So this yeah. nomination for me, people are saying it as a star. They were saying, no, now nah, God, you don't understand. Me and that Baba, we get a relationship. You know how they tell me, they make an old Japa. Say, girl, don't go nowhere. So I'm using that as a point of contact to tell you that when things happen like that, you see these things, you got to be prayerful. I was telling the other session I was with, with my dear sister on LinkedIn the other day, and I said, people don't understand the spirituality of social media. <laughs> You think you are just out there doing your thing. There are people who are watching. So, Toby, open a new page. Let us help you blow it out. Hmm? Don't let them hinder you. Because they might, as they are speaking now, maybe there's somebody discussing your case in the UN. Eh? And they are waiting. Say, why come there's no recent post on this page? Or you yeah. use your LinkedIn to build the page. Use your Facebook to build the page. Build it somehow, okay. right? Build your page. Don't, 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 don't in that because there are people from this session who are going to watch on YouTube as well who might want to join, right? So yes. please let's give them the opportunity to be able to communicate with the page directly. All the work yes. that you've done on that page. So every time you post, tag the other page that was uh, blocked, you know, to see more yes. of our work, go to this, uh, you know, previous post. We're having challenges. They brought on my page last year now. Facebook, uh, Women of Ruby, 70K. On Instagram. Yeah. I did not let it disturb me. Kiki knows. I don't... Listen. Don't let these things mess you up, my dear. When you have a purpose, challenges will come. The devil does not like lights. The moment they see the light, the devil is going to start firing. So, you know, so do where. Please let us bring in these amazing queens. Sorry, everyone okay. who that joined there. Eh? I told you guys from the beginning, this is not a spirit, spirit, uh, professional thing. You understand? This one is uh, we have a relationship beyond social media. So, permit me, right? So, please, let's have them. Who do you want to join the session? So Ruth is here. Ruth Inspire is here. Sophia Sadiq is here. Yes, Dorothy, it's not easy to get over. It's not. Yes, yeah, so, yes, the followers does not matter how you So, who am I inviting? Let them send me. Let, please, can they send and, you know, okay, yeah, Ruth. I, oh, I think I know Ruth. Yes, my roots now. So roots and who else? Who else do you want to add? Sophia, the Sophia Sadiq. The Sophia Sadiq. No, um, I only see Sharon. Oh, the Sophia. Okay, yeah. Hi. 
Oh, I think I'm going to invite everybody. I mean, I'm not vexed, so. <laughs> if I send you an invitation, sorry, you're not vexed, so. Can you hear me? Bye. 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 See, good afternoon. Good evening, ma. I feel like I've known you before. I'm actually meeting because I've heard much about you from Toby before. I'm talking about you so much. Wait, so. I mean, like, it is too good. I see you. I'll be like, nah, I know this woman. I, I know her. Thank I, you so much I, for being amazing. I know your name as well. Uh, and I you. yeah, you know, um through Toby I've been able to, you know, mass like just cram some names when they yeah. are consistent that in my posts, I see them on Facebook. I don't I mean, no no, I have a loyal blood. So I notice things. Uh, I, love it. I might not talk, <laughs> but I notice things. So when you when I saw you I say Ruth inspire her. I know this babe now. I don't say her name well well. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so, so much for um, mm -hmm. joining this platform. So please so um, tell us, um, you know, how has it been volunteering, being part of Toby's initiatives? How has Toby impacted you positively? So um, first of all, right, two, questions, two things. One, has, has volunteering been and also been part of um, Girl of mm -hmm. Africa? Volunteering mm -hmm. has been really amazing. I, was, I mentioned in the comment that I got my first job ever to volunteering. Okay. Right. I, I, I was in University of Lagos and I'm doing during um school school during on Saturdays basically. Okay. I'll go volunteer for Bank Holly Williams. I don't know if you're Bank Holly Williams. Yes, I do. I know I him. I Bank Holly Williams every Saturday because I wanted to get involved in the coaching and the consulting space, right? I'll go there on Saturday mornings by like seven a.m. People are actually sleeping from the weekdays of class. I'll come back. That was a lucky face when I was schooling in Yaba, University of Lagos. I'll come back by like maybe 7 p.m., 8 p.m. every Saturday or whenever I have an event, basically. I mean, I was done with all of those things. I, I literally okay. had my first job without even having to do all the CV cramming or all the interview stuff. I got a really good job and I'm still working there for over three years and I've been really, really amazing. So, when, when I hear people say I volunteer, I mean, it's just so fired or whatever. I was like, you don't know what you're missing out of. Like, you're literally missing out on a whole gold mine. Like, if you are volunteering uh -huh. strategically, like, if you are voluntary with your brain, like, your brain is there, you know what you're doing. Like, and what you said, because as I went as I was here too, I was just going to, um, to Bank Holy Williams with that. I never knew that I would get a job. I was going there just to learn, just to understand, just to get familiar with what, what is what I wanted, what I wanted, what I wanted to do in life, right? So it was, not, it was not about, oh, let me just go and be Bank Holy And I was not even stopping. You know what, eh? People of this world, people go and say voluntary, but don't know I'm taking selfie up and down for posting. <laughs> That's not the time. That's not the time, really. That's not the time or place. Just go there and soak yourself in the world and all that these people have. Go there and just understand. Go there and just learn. And when you have done that for years and they have seen that this person actually is here for the good stuff, this person actually person is here for to just learn. They will bring you on board when they know that this person is not just here for the for the fame or for the for the social media. I met this person today. That's not the time for that, right? Mm -hmm. Also, how oh, how, how oh. volunteering has helped okay. me for Toby's place. Mm -hmm. So I've known Toby for like maybe Toby, how many years? Like maybe five years. It's like twenty. She's not. She's not on again. I think she. What's please yes. go on. Yes. I can hear you loud and clear. Thank okay, you can hear me good. So I've, I've known Toby for a very long time now. Like maybe like twenty seventeen or thereabout. And I remember Toby volunteering for mini bed to come to Lagos. Toby. See the story. The story that, okay, that story has to be shared exclusively. Yeah, that story has to be shared exclusively. Yeah, story story shared exclusively. Yeah, <laughs> Let us tell her. We used to sleep. We used to put squats in somebody's room in Unilag just because we came to Lagos to volunteer. We sleep on the ground because there was no space. <laughs> Yo, we should like a whole podcast on that story, man. So we'll come, don't we come I'm telling you. I was a squats in Unilag. Toby will come with her volunteer to squat with me. I will be there. Beg see, we were like in the beach trenches. We will be there. And next on Saturday morning, we we'll wake up very early morning, dress up. I go and volunteer somewhere. It was like it was. I think people felt like we were just people. Didn't, people felt like we were just wasting our time. Like there was post, honestly, like there was yeah. no money involved. There was no even stipend. Honestly, it was our money going there to volunteer. And I realized that. We told me, told me, told me very, very passionate about something. When she loves something, she, she, she goes all out for it, right? So that time, we had young, young ladies like myself that she had put together to just go volunteer and just go help other people that are already up there, already set up just to help their own dreams come true, right? And mm -hmm. all of us, we just go there, volunteer, work for Monday night, we'll take pictures, okay. we dance, we make ourselves happy. And then we'll go back to the hostel, we'll go back to our house, right? 
there was nothing about what you can see here. <laughs> when I look back, I feel like those those were like, they were like, 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 like our, our foundation years. Those were like our growing, our yeah. molding stage because they made us who we are today. Mm -hmm. Most of those ladies now, they are actually out there doing amazing stuff in different industries, different places. And mm -hmm. they're not like the regular people because those people know what you need to sacrifice. Those people know what you need to do, like, to really step people to, to, to be loyal yeah. to the cause and not just oh. be, I don't know, like, not, not just be, up if, 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 if it's not good, now you will disappear. That's not how it works. You have to be there for years and actually sacrifice, actually put in the work, actually plant the seed like a farmer. And let your own season of harvest come. But everybody has their own time of harvest and their own time of growth, right? So mm. that time, that time, not that, that time, not that, but it's just be okay. If it's not happening, I'm out. There was no out. It was more like I'm here to stay and I'm here to ensure that I'm actually sowing myself at the right time, my own harvest will come for me, right? So, I mean, with, with, with Job Africa, the ladies there, I mean, they're amazing ladies. I can't even, I can't even like, the committee was so, so superb. Amazing women, amazing ladies. I just wanted to grow and just become better for myself. And serve mm. and just build them, so build, 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 build their capacity. Um, capacity. What, 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 what other parent do you ask me? I feel like I'm just talking around. I'm just talking around. <laughs> <I'm just talking laughs> what do you ask me? Listen, I think there is something with Toby and a fire that she passes on to you guys. <laughs> Yo. No, no, see, we Toby, Toby, I don't forget her spirit. So if you're in her spirit and that spirit's not affecting you, yeah, you're yeah, the problem, honestly, because she's very, very contagious. She's very, very, she's a person that. She will actually push it to become better, right? Yes. Because she, she has energy. You never know Toby has energy. So thank you so much, Ruth. And I think my take home from what you shared is to know that, you know, your dedication, waking up at seven a.m. And these are the kind of stories that we need to tell, um, young people yeah. out there. You know, imagine what a young person would have achieved. They've been home now for six months, I believe. Those who are master strike. And like I said at the beginning, I don't know if you were part of it at the beginning, I said somebody somewhere now has missed out on the future opportunity to get a job because yeah. they focus on cartoon, IG enterprises <laughs> at home. They are using mm. that as an excuse. You sleep in the morning, you wake up, mm. press, press phone, press phone, the same routine for six months. You didn't think about volunteering for people. You didn't think about, you know, you're going to miss it out. You're going to miss out on opportunities, right? So thank you so much for doing right by yourself. Yeah. That's exactly. the first thing. You did right by yourself. You saw, you saw the goal. Like, listen, I am going to dedicate myself to Bank Holly Williams organization. I want to learn. I want to grow. I want to go beyond this. And, you know, I pray that, you know, even at the level you have with your job, that God will take you even higher. And yeah. that, you know, the yeah. friendship you share with Toby, you guys would understand each other better and that you would grow together. This, listen, me, this, you, you guys, I want to see you guys are up there. It's my joy. I love it. It's when I see young women thriving. When people say, like, you're always featuring people. But I say, you don't understand. I am raising girls. I am raising girls. I need to raise mentees for my children from now. I need to be able to have a collage of women in their room as they grow up to say, this person, this person, this person. Oh my God. So I, I, you want to see more of you. So please, you know, go out there, keep encouraging people to volunteer. And I think your story and any other person who is listening right now, Share your volunteering stories with people. Let people know that <laughs> everything will be money. Don't go and use people. Mm. Yes, yeah, sometimes mm. you need to yeah. spend your money for volunteering. I volunteer for people. I use my data to man. I manage social media pages that I cannot talk about because of the NDA, <laughs> right? But I am the one behind yeah. it, and yeah. I am doing it yeah. for free. Why? Because I understand the power of impact. Right, so thank wow. you so much, you know, and um, please don't be a stranger. Toby, who is next? Because this root space, then this your week, I like it too. She's <laughs> where <laughs> the daughter of Lagos. Most of Gen Z's, me and Toby are most okay. Actually, most Gen Z's, most of people like us, right? Mm -hmm. Because of the the, the 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 nature of our age and the the, the times that we live in, most people mm -hmm. want to actually leave school and they start a business mm. it's how you're meant to be sowing your seed and planting yourself in places for your future harvest mm -hmm. you're spending it trying to be ceo 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 
without no capacity, without no ability, without mm. no substance. Mm. I'm not saying you should close your business, but I'm saying that before you build, you need to have the capacity in there for you to build. Mm. Because a lot of people are actually just building without foundation, honestly. And you also play without, yeah. without, 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 it's a table breaking <laughs> conversation. <laughs> Everybody's a CEO nowadays. I can literally like, spend the first five years of your blind learning and understand and know how what it means to actually happen. Anyways, <laughs> Jesse Wala is not today. He's not today. Thank but, you uh, so <laughs> much, Ruth. Thank you. Thank you so <laughs> much for joining. Yeah, reach out so thank you so much, Toby. Thank you, Ruth. Thank I you so much for thank you. Thank you, my darling. Toby, please bring your face back on the camera and who else do you want us to have? I'm here, I'm on the camera. Oh. Can I you see, see me? Video. I can see her. Oh, okay. Oh. There is there is the real Chisholm 01. The real Chisholm 01. She's here. Oh, the real okay. Chisholm. Toby, I can't see your face. Yes. What's happening? I can see everybody can see me. I can see you very well. Yeah, I cannot see you. Very you uh, moved out. God for me. Jesus name oh. I can't see I can't see the person you mentioned. The real Chisholm 01. Can she comment? Oh, you can okay. see her. Yeah. I see my own come. I can't see her. I can't see her from my end. <laughs> now wow, what's your apple now? If you don't come go There is Sophia. The Sophia is also She's here. Not here. <clears throat> She's not here. My um, you know, moderator Kiki just told me, yeah, I think. Someone else's, um, yeah, the real chisholm. Yeah, I just added her now. Okay, all right. Can you see me now, my dear? I don't know what is happening. I can't appear now. Everybody is seeing. I don't know. Can you guys see me? I think I'm running from my end. See my network. Should I log out and log back yeah. in to yes, join? Yes, please, please, please. I'd appreciate okay. that. Uh, I, chisholm. I Yes, can you guys see me? I think he is, I'm rolling here at my hand. Please, if you can see Chisom, can you please let us know in the comments? Because I cannot see her. Please, if you can see Chisom. Okay, um, I'll wait for both of them to join back. Okay, Toby. Hi, Toby. Okay, I cannot see her. Anyway, yeah, I can't see them. I can't see them. Whoever you have, Savannah, I cannot hug you. Sorry. Um, she's so, yeah. And Toby. Okay. Okay. Can you see me? Because I cannot see you. Hey, I can see you, but I don't know. I can't see myself. I think it's the network from my end. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's the it network does, from my does, end. Does, does you look like people are oh saying my God, my village people followed me down here today. <laughs> hey, no, don't worry. Right. Oh, you're Bini people? <laughs> you are from Bini? I beg, stop that to you. No, no, not make, no. not make, not make ancestors come visit you. Which I'm kind not of not talk, no. not, not talk that one? <laughs> but not talk that one. So, <laughs> so nice to have you here. Toby is not here, but I believe. Let me accept Toby to join, so yes. we can see your faces, and then we'll wrap up the session. It's been so wonderful. Thank you to everyone who joined from the beginning. Toby, are you here now? Okay. While we're waiting for Toby to join, Chisom, please share your volunteering experience with us. Okay. Since you can hear me, I think we can do yes. it with my voice. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I wanted Toby to be here so that she can uh, listen yes, to... Yes, let's see. Toby. Yes, she could listen to this. When Toby wanted to start this volunteering, mm -hmm. she called a few of her friends. Mm -hmm. I'm one of the persons yeah. that was included. Yeah, I hear you very well. Okay. I was one of the persons that is that. I know she'll be laughing very soon. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. when she called me and she shared mm -hmm. her ideas with me, 
Mm -hmm. Then I told her, Toby, this is a very good idea. Like, I will stand mm -hmm. with you on this thing. Mm -hmm. She mm. said, are you sure? I said, yes. Oh, yeah, I was okay. only one that did that. Let's go to the cyber cafe. Let's start doing from... Toby, can you remember? She Immediately she told me that day, that same day, we, we stepped out and we went to the cyber cafe. We started doing some printing. You know, we started yeah. printing out some things that we, we use for the um, volunteering work. Mm. Then I now something now boils down to my to my mindset. I said, if you have a dream, mm. get positive people around you. Mm. If Toby could have people who would discourage her at that point, mm. she'll feel mm. this thing, this thing that I said, I beg, I beg, I beg, I beg. Ah. Mm. Uh, I said, Toby, you want to waste your money? You want to... And few of our friends who she told, they all left. So it was only high and one other lady, a law student, I've forgotten her name, that only stood mm -hmm. by Yeah. Me. Yeah. <laughs> the rest people, our, our friends that she always roll with, go out with, hang out with, they all left her, got to sew yeah. her <laughs> at that point. But when Toby now called me, she said, I want to see you. I went to the to her hostel. And she was like, mm -hmm. okay. Now we said, okay. That same day, we print her something. The next day, the next day, we now set out to um, India. Is it India College? Yes. You know, yeah, yeah. College, that is the first school we went to do our volunteer. And that is how we started. That is mm. how we started. Sometimes Toby will say, I don't get money to travel. I cannot sponsor people. Wait, wait, wait. Before you continue, <laughs> see, let me just mention these guys. In the course of volunteering, I've lapped somebody from Lagos to Benin and Benin back just to go and volunteer, just so we're clear. So forget this fine girl you guys are seeing. We've done things in the class. <laughs> so when it was to come to who understand this volunteering work, who started with Toby? Toby is mm. here. He can, she can attest that the first two people who started with her was Hi and the other lady who studied mm. law in, who is also a, 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 a junior classmate in school. Who is studying mm. law? I can't. I can't remember her name again, but I think Toby can remember her name. Mm. Yeah. So that's how we started going school by school. We will not start prepping. I will wake Toby by five o'clock. Toby, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! <laughs> Toby will say, "Oh, let me sleep. Let me sleep." I say, "No, no." I was. Anytime Toby sees me, say, "Hey, God, don't wake me by five a.m. Oh, let me sleep to six a.m." <laughs> we will start prepping together. Um, I mean, Toby will start saying... Hey, oh, yeah, 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 that's true. That's, that's one thing. Sorry, Chisom, just before you continue, that's one thing that's so important. So what she's saying is very true because we didn't want to go with a shallow mind. So she would actually... I don't know how she wakes up so early anyway. She wake up very early. Then we'll start Googling what we're going to teach these other children because we wanted to be like role models to them. But we have to Google. We have to know our onions. We're not just going to give them top-of-head knowledge. No. We have to Google research, know that, okay, we know our onions before going. So, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. So, I'll wait, Toby. Eh, Toby will say, oh, before you know. I'll say, Toby, I'll pour out your face so she will now wake up. Then we'll start prepping. <laughs> After we prep, the first thing we eat that day for our first volunteer like, was beans. Toby prepared beans in the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one night why is it even volunteer? So this is the only thing that will hold us strong today. This another interesting part about I and Toby during the movement. Mm -hmm. Um, oh God, Toby came to me that we are going okay. to okay. I said okay. This Okwepe Miss, Miss Nigeria is coming. Ah, I said, mm. okay. Toby now um took how many volunteers? Almost fifteen volunteers and mm -hmm. ten. <laughs> Yeah, from Benin to Auchi. Do you know after mm. we go to Auchi, that's when Toby now came to me, brought me aside. Sist, sist, no accommodation, no. Miss Nigeria is not picking, no. Yeah, I said, Jehovah, <laughs> Toby, you didn't make any arrangements. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> because she only told me that she couldn't transport everywhere. I said, Toby, see the amount I have. It was me and Toby that now gathered money to transport people from Benin to Auchi. Mm, so I yeah. said, Toby, you only told me that you never had much. I, when we went to make our hair, how come we now get to Auchi? You didn't plan for our uh, this thing. You didn't plan for food. You didn't plan to be sincere. I think, I think you were the... 
Catholic <laughs> something, that time, uh, yes, president of yes. something. And I said, okay, Toby, the luck you have is I'm the PRO of the, adult, um, of the provincial um, Catholic youth. Okay, yes. I'll have to put a call across. Thank God I have a relationship with all the, um, the chaplains. And I'll call a girl that, please, is there um, space in the um, Catholic house? Say yes, I have to put a call to the chaplain. That's how we got there free of charge. And we accommodated them. So people That's like, just before they continue, this, this opportunity now that she's talking about, that we went to Okmekme, we had to volunteer with some organizations that came, got me a job as the Miss Nigeria volunteer um, camp coordinator and pageant manager for two years. This opportunity now of volunteering, you know, let me just mm -hmm. put it out there. And you did not tell me that one, though. you will give me my own share, <laughs> but it's a joke, I'm joking. <laughs> Anyways, so, I said, and I said, Toby, the risk you're taking, I, I believed in you. I had Toby now quarried. Toby, why would you do this? <laughs> Toby said, this is, I said, okay, how would I, was, how, was gonna, how are we going to feed those people now? Toby said, sis, I know them on you. I said, ah, okay, let's go to the junction. That's how we carry a um, bike to the junction. And I used my money to buy food for everyone. Toby said, I will yeah. pay you back. You, are, you know, you, you're my sister now. I said, okay, no problem. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's how the volunteering job started. We keep going, keep mm -hmm. going from there. Even when she will always be posting you, Esther, me so I'll be proposed. Ah! <laughs> I know. Yeah. I know. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Her face. Mama, she's not showing her face. You would have remembered her now. Yes, I've met you. her once in Lagos. Yes. So, yeah. when people now say the success story. Now, when Toby was now growing, everybody now wants to become Toby friend. Everyone that abandoned Toby, all those that was, um, they were they were all together, they ran away, mm -hmm. they never believed in her mm -hmm. dream, they never believed in her mm -hmm. vision. They mm -hmm. ran away. Yeah. Now they are coming back because mm -hmm. Toby is everywhere. Toby is now with the, the all and all. I, through, mm -hmm. through my volunteerism, I also met the former president of Nigeria, Lucia Gobasanjo. When I posted, Toby was screaming, Jesus, this is huge. Volunteerism mm -hmm. has made me to meet yeah. people. Mm -hmm. I mean, people mm -hmm. respect mm -hmm. me. Sophia is waiting to. Okay, so okay. let me get so before Tiso, um, I just want to quickly take you up. Um, thank you so much for sharing this beautiful story. Like someone said in the comments, this is what happens when people create value. Mm -hmm. When people are conscious of creating value. And that is, you know, with people who perhaps deserted Toby and all of that. Listen, sometimes isolation is necessary. Mm. Hey! Sometimes separation is necessary. Mm. And it is not everything that is because of, you know, sometimes you need to, and when, one thing I always tell to be is to always ask God, what are you teaching me in this moment? Mm -hmm. Right? So yeah. when people separate, when people are isolated and all of that, I think sometimes it's for a reason. Is it that because exactly. God wants both of them or the group to go all out and learn better exactly. so mm -hmm. that they form a formidable team when they come back together? Mm -hmm. And that is why I always tell people, when you block people, don't block their destiny. Mm -hmm. When you block ah. people, don't block your purpose. Exactly. I am an advocate for that. I can block somebody, but listen, when I see opportunity, girl, I'm going to mention your name. Mm -hmm. Because this is how life works. When I mention your name and you prosper, you know what see me tomorrow, me, you know, say, no, help me. Yes. Because yes. you're going to say, block in that app. Now, help me end. Mm -hmm. Be written, be say, money don't enter. So I will be here, yeah. right? So I just had to bring that up, you know, to let you know, as you also navigate through life, there are isolation period that are, see, you cannot control it. People abandoned yeah. Tiger Woods Mama when he was Esther, going through life. Right. No, when Toby yeah. now blow, let me just round up. When Toby mm -hmm. now become more popular, more relevant mm -hmm. in the society, mm -hmm. people are getting mm -hmm. to know her. Mm -hmm. Everybody started calling me. I've been calling mm -hmm. Toby, oh, Toby's number is not going. I've been calling Toby. Toby is not picking. Is this Toby blocked? Yeah. I don't understand. Mm -hmm. So I, mm -hmm. I just yeah. spoke to Toby now. Mm -hmm. When I will call mm -hmm. Toby in their present, Toby Alpha, Toby will pick. He said, one name, mm -hmm. oh, exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm mm -hmm. busy. I said, well, is it not mm -hmm. the Toby? He said, I've been calling Toby since six months, since five months. I would say, Toby, why? why? He said, no, 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 no. There are people that she doesn't want in her space at the moment. I said, okay, fine. And Toby would say, don't share my new number. I said, oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> 
thank you so much. You so thank you for sharing. Thank you um for sharing that story. So is there any other person you want me to add? You said Sophia? Yeah, Sophia, B Sophia, B Sophia. Yes, Alika. She's not here. Let me Yeah, I can see her. Oh, okay. Yeah. So yeah, I already sent her an invitation. Um my sister Dorothy let me quickly tell you this sorry Sophia um this is this is a, an advocate she just made a comment and sis I want to let you know that I love you so much I am sorry that you feel constantly abandoned you know that I love you I always check in with you when I can and I'm happy you you put up this comment so I am going to reach out to you um after this conversation you know to also check in with you but thank you for being here um you have contributed so much to humanity i know many please don't feel abandoned don't feel abandoned you know that our conversation eh i'm going to reach out to you sophia thank you for being here i had to quickly do that um oh she's so beautiful hey <laughs> 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 Not the only brain, so be the power. Oh, even find find people. Hi, hey, this girl, eh? She sabi, she too sabi. So Sophia, <laughs> thank evening. you so much for joining today. It's you know, listen. This is one of the most beautiful sessions that I've had since I started this show. And someone, oh. everybody, said in the comment that the energy is so high, right? I don't focus on numbers. I focus on impact. So mm -hmm. thank you for being here. Today, I want you to tell us your volunteering story. I want you to tell us how Toby, you know, has impacted you as a person. You know, very briefly. <laughs> Toby's so like, we're going to sleep on this live today because. I bet when I get past you, no make we sleep. I get something. I want to go to somewhere. Many people don't finish. I know that they should be here. I know they watch. They start no talk. Say more. I beg. Okay, I'm just kidding. Please go on. Um, to be honest, I even meet you. <laughs> I don't even know the beginning of this story, but I would say my volunteering journey since I met Toby has been. I don't even know if there's a word to use to describe it. Um, I met Toby when I was still, um, in uni. Um, <laughs> and I joined Girl Hope Africa. Then I joined GHA as Toby's EA. Um, mm -hmm. I remember coming on board then. That was probably like my first actual job. <laughs> um, naive <laughs> young girl in uni. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. want to say it. Toby should be Pepe, but Toby taught me <laughs> sending out emails, following up with people. It was so much, but that was the foundation of my career. Like Toby would be like, Sophia, this document you created, one million errors. And I'd be like, hey, Jesus is Lord, who sent me work? But all of those things were what laid the foundation for the current job that I have today. All of those things laid the foundation for who I am, literally. To mm -hmm. me, I always say that Toby built me. Like, she really did. Like, when I started Girl Hub Africa, it was... When I started at Girl Hub Africa, um, I was so clueless. I remember when I came in as Toby's EA, all the other volunteers would look at me like, ah, who's this person? From, you know the way Toby's energy is like you have to match her 100 for 100 like you cannot be anything less than 100 so like I, knew that I, constantly, I constantly had to be at the top of my game and just you know few months of working with Toby as our EA she was like you know what just pivot to GHA and be our programs director I was I was like impossible I remember that night that we were on that call talking about GHA strategy and she was like you know what just be the program director so I remember I was eating plantains at F4 that day and she was like ah, ah this your food is nice so I was like ah, thank you and next thing she was like you are the new program director I'm like ah, how now like we're just talking about plantain now now and she was like don't worry I trust you <laughs> I'm not yeah. even remember that later because I made, I think another thing that I love with that experience is, and I was volunteering while I was at JT was that Toby allowed mm -hmm. me to make mistakes. Um, people say a lot of things about Gen Z's, but it's like we're also learning and Toby allowed me to learn on the job. Like that was mm -hmm. when I eventually got like big 
opportunities when I eventually got to the UN, like as young as I am, literally, Toby is the one who built that foundation. I never imagined that in my life, starting up my career, I would ever be invited to be like at the United Nations. But I got that because I had a foundation learning that it was not about money. It was about just coming and giving your all. Ruth, when, when Ruth was on, she was talking about how you have to wake up early. I remember this one volunteering experience where we did the clean up beach. Um, the beach, yeah. Single use plastic beach cleaner. Plastic. It was now AM. It was even 5.30 that we had to set out because we were going from the mainland to the yeah. island. I remember my parents were like, ah, hey, five o'clock. On, on top what and I was like ah he would not understand please let me go <laughs> and at that 5 30 Toby was already waiting for me at 7 and 8 junction with Uber and then we went all morning and the thing is when you're at GHA it's always 100 always 100 and mm -hmm. the thing Toby said about always coming with the appearance I, if there's anything you thought me to be you know that is that one me I didn't really care about nothing I just always wanted to come wherever looking however just do the job and leave but when you get to you know spaces like the un working with organizations like global citizen your appearance is really important you cannot come and say that you're a youth end boy for a un specialized agency and you're just looking and people would even doubt you like are you sure youth end boy care but that was the one thing i learned yeah. to be is like wherever you're going like you have to constantly dress the way you want to be addressed and another thing is whenever toby was going to these big events you know going to places that as young as i was with the lack of experience that i had i shouldn't be in those rooms like she would come and drag me sophia i'm in front of your house are you coming to my place is my uber coming <laughs> Should I pick you up or are you going to come and let's meet halfway at the journey? Like she would always, always, always take me to all of these places. And I am who I am today because I volunteered with Toby. Literally, just being part of Girl Hub Africa, there was no, we did so many things. Whether I was cleaning up a beach, whether I was volunteering for malaria, whether it was anything, like we would just always be out there. And like that selfless go get her spirit was like something I learned from Toby. And like, it's something that I've not lost, literally, like, always going for it. Every day, every day, every day. <laughs> every day, always. Like, that's one thing that you definitely learn from Toby is that, like, you show up every day and you show out 100%. And I don't know if I'm really giving my 100 every day, but I know that I am trying my best because I saw Toby try her best. Mm -hmm. Like, when you're behind the scenes at GHA, because everybody says oh we did a business mixer oh it was amazing ah but all the running around getting the speakers toby would be calling uh who's here ah, we'll be having sessions somebody will be whispering now yeah food is not enough oh hmm, what are we going to do vendor did not bring this <laughs> this and that all of those things were like volunteer experiences that really because when i got my job and we would have events people just always were like how are you able to stay on your feet all day i'm like look if i could volunteer for gha wearing heels all day there's nothing I cannot do in this job. So just forget it. Oh, <laughs> you think that I'm going to get tired after like half a day. Forget it. You should join mm -hmm. GHA and see the way we do it. And with GHA, you will still be screaming at the top of, of your lungs. Who are, who, are, who are we? We are, we are GHA. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. every, <laughs> every single time. So like that really built like my own stamina, right? It built like my strength, like how I really went into my job. And for everything that I've done after GHA, like I've always been retained. Like even when I signed contract of one year, the organization would really be like, look, one year was great and we really want you to just stay behind because you've been able to bring value. So we taught me all of that. So till today, I would always say that, look, volunteering with GHA. My brother, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you really so much. And thank you, Madam Esther, because I saw your influence in Toby's life as well over the years. Mm -hmm. Like I always watched from a distance, but I knew how much she really appreciated like having women. She had like a woman to look up to and I had her to look up to. So you definitely set the pace for me as well, because you set the pace for her. Thank you. And I, I must say that, you know, being um a media girl, you might want to consider having your own show, maybe a <laughs> podcast. Um, you might want to also consider yeah. going into audio book. Um, it, there's a big market there. Believe me, I know a talent when I see it. And mm -hmm. sometimes a lot of us are so comfortable 
with what we are focused on that we do not tap into the things that God has also placed in us as extras. And that is what I always tell God, bring out my extras, bring out my extras. What are the other spaces you need me to take my light? So maybe we should take this as also a conversation where you might want to look into that because you have a calm, you know, persona. Your voice, I was listening because I know about active listening. I'm a social worker as well. So while I was listening to you, uh, in my head, I said, where have I heard this voice before? And Tolu tools came to mind. Tools of Beat 99 FM came to mind. Wow. Where have I heard this voice again? And Ashunye, I don't know if you know Ashunye. Ashunye, she is one of the first people, you know, on radio in Nigeria. If you talk about legends and thespians and women who actually set the pace for people like tools. So you might want to go back to your drawing board. I don't know what your vision board looks like. Get a vision board you know, pin it there. So maybe when you wake up every morning, do like a manifestation for yourself, right? <clears throat> and say, God, if my life is in a podcast, radio, TV, wherever, you know, this person said this, show me a sign that this is an industry. This is a sign. <laughs> this is so a please sign. take it up <laughs> and believe me, you have my support. 100% by the time you put the structure in place, even if it's a podcast, even if it is an audio book, you want to say, okay, or somebody's releasing a book, you say, okay, you know what, why don't you let me help you with that on audio? You say you type in, take it, right? And then you can build from there, all right? So thank you so much. Toby, we can't see your face again. You don't go post mode again. <laughs> I can see you. I can see everybody. Can you see can you see her? People are messaging me on WhatsApp. Oh, Rose J. Rose J is messaging me. Toby Rose C. is messaging me. And there is, uh, okay. what's her name? So, so, you need to log out and log back in because I cannot see you. And we need to, I need to see you because this YouTube theme, I'm going to promote it so that, you know, we, we okay. take this far. Okay. We take this conversation. So, Sophia, um, please do not joke with this conversation today, girl. There might be a light in there that you want to tap into. You've done the work in volunteering. Maybe it's time to also the extra, right? We all have the extra in us, the extra. So tell God, write it down on a paper. I don't know if you know about manifestation. I'm very huge on manifestation. Write it down on a paper, and every morning you want to affirm it to yourself. You know, maybe you affirm it to yourself. So by affirming to yourself, you want to dedicate, say, seven days. Say, God, in the next seven days, I'm affirming this. I want to be a podcaster. I want to be, you know, I want to go. I want to start my own show. Whatever yeah. it is you want to do, speak it into existence. So if there's a light Definitely. there for you, the same way that I have said this today, someone might come into your DM to say, hi, um, the other day we, we spoke on the phone. and Have you considered a radio job? Do you want to come in for audition, maybe, for a program? You don't know. And that's it. Right? Mm -hmm. So please consider it. Toby, we are waiting for you. Sophia, <laughs> don't be a stranger. Thank you so much. I'm always there yeah. to, you know, support you all. And I am I so proud it. that you all stay through to your vision. And you've supported Toby up until this point where, wow. um, you know, the dream is now really global, right? The dream mm -hmm. is global. So thank you so much for your effort. And let me know how it goes with that voice thing definitely <laughs> all right thank darling so much, have a beautiful yeah, evening yeah, thank you goodbye yeah bye there we are still waiting for toby thank you so much for everybody who joined i am so pumped up and energized you know this is one of the most beautiful sessions that i've had um since i started this show the energy is different when women are genuinely connecting and that's what i tell people be genuine with people connect with good intention you will see the energy flow right it's going to flow naturally so thank you so much i am just going to toby i am waiting for you please toby join in so we can wrap up the session kiki yes that's my amazing volunteer and our partnership coordinator in the comment yes awesome voice she has dorothy yes she does has an awesome voice so be please be on her, be on her to help her find the purpose. 
there is something okay. about her voice that would want you to listen if either she's in front of you or she's behind the screen or she's on, on radio right and mm -hmm. i talk about extra because even starting this show is an extra extra in the sense that sometimes you got to break free from your core to mix yes. all your goals and life together right so toby yes, to wrap up the session it's been a beautiful one i am so 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 grateful to you all I, i i love you all so much um i'm so so happy that you you've poured into this amazing women right and it's i'm pumped up again because these are the women that make me so happy that when i feature folks and people say now i own too much i'm like girl that person is that person could be an ungozi when we are out tomorrow you don't know what i have exactly. done for myself all those features mm -hmm. when they google their name my name go up here and i know they understand pr <laughs> you know go receive from to say free free no don't be free i they build my legacy for my children so that tomorrow when person when say will be your mama google my mama esther ijewere you my mama don't feature your mama before you don't know google your mama name you see my mama name there you see so everything is not money and i'm not sharing this as a bragging right i am sharing this for people who feel sometimes when they're in spaces and if you're not getting yeah. maybe like a reward instant gratification stay consistent yeah. stay yeah. consistent i have been on facebook for many years and this is the first year they are recognizing me as they, they are nominating me as a facebook influencer at almost 40 so there are, someone was telling me that your friends have i said yes my friends have gotten other awards <laughs> this is my moment <laughs> the nomination is my moment the nomination is god letting me know even in this time he is still with me and that the work that i do is been recognized so toby to wrap up the conversation your final word for every young person watching us right now who wants to volunteer what do you have to say to them please go give you 100% that's what i'll say go all out show up regardless of anything happening nobody will care about mm -hmm. your downtime don't mm -hmm. show up so show up don't say oh me too i'm going to like i cannot volunteer for somebody or an organization show up and mm -hmm. let god show you and then uh, above all please put god first you saw as she was even saying somebody somebody would trivialize it and say oh facebook you went to be praying to god you don't know what that is for her that's like a platform that gives her the money that she actually needs the recognition and everything and even the fulfillment so mm. put god first even in the volunteering ask god am i supposed to volunteer for a person at this time or an organization what should mm. i be doing for time uh so mm. ask uh put god first when you're volunteering don't be like a dicical about it give your 100% mm. if you're going to volunteer for a person or an organization mm. please don't be ahead Don't wait for mm -hmm. them to hand you something to do. You see something, you're there, and you're supposed to do it, or you can't do it. Don't wait mm -hmm. for them to tell you. Please do it, and above all, please support your uh, your friends and people in your circle. She finishes bad though. You can hear you. And lastly, let me also add respect people before you. Gen Z, yeah, Gen Z. I'm speaking to you all. You all do a lot of trolling online. These things affect people in the future. Don't let your Google search bring out controversy. Don't let your Google search bring out bad news about you. You can no matter how many clothes you have, you never have as much rag as an elder. Right? The thing you are starting and I'm saying this because a lot of you go when you're starting your energy is so high, may not they calm down. You see ah? Huh? Please they calm down, right? So thank you so much yeah. um you know for your contribution to the society thank you for staying true to your goal thank you for staying true to your vision and i want to let you all know that toby is also available as a mentor don't align with her because of what you can gain from her let it be a balanced relationship she's available to also mentor people she does that as well so thank you everybody it's been an amazing session <laughs> so toby i would, I would You I feel better. I told you I feel better. I feel super better.
I'm so happy. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Enjoy your evening and the rest of your weekend. Please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Esther Ijeware, on YouTube. Kindly subscribe if you're listening right now. And just be yourself and be happy. Have a beautiful, beautiful weekend. And thank you so much for staying with us to the end of the show. God bless.